Oh, hello, didn't see you there. Welcome to the OR and to the surgery clerkship. As you'll see, learning the ropes of the OR is more of a trial by fire than a formal introduction. So we'll try to give you the essentials so you don't look like a damn fool on your first day. First things first, wardrobe. Go to the locker room and change into scrubs even if you are already wearing them from home because we don't want the germs from your disgusting room in the OR. Don't leave any valuables such as electronics, money, or stethoscopes in the locker room because that's just common sense. Put on a head cover, either a cool surgeon's cap or the lame lunch lady cap. If you're wearing nice shoes, you should probably put on some shoe covers. Now you're ready to enter the OR. Get in the habit of never walking into an OR without a mask on. If you'll be scrubbing in, you should also have eye protection, either a mask visor combination or a mask with a separate eye shield. The eye shield rims are reusable and are found above the scrub sinks, while the visors which attach to them are disposable after each surgery. Just snap the three points on the visor to the rim and you're set. When you walk into the OR before the surgery has started, you will see the scrub tech and his or her magical treasure trove of sterile equipment. Any surface that has a blue drape over it is sterile, so be sure not to bump into it or you will be yelled at. It is always nice to introduce yourself to the scrub tech, just don't shake their sterile hand, and ask if they would like you to get your own gown and gloves. These are located in the cabinets along the walls of the OR, so grab a gown and two pairs of gloves, one pair for under glove and one pair for over glove? You'll be sized for these at your surgery orientation. Now comes your first real test in OR, handing your gloves and gown to the scrub tech in a sterile manner. First open the package your gown is in and take it out. Don't worry, you can touch the blue outside wrapping of the gown. Hold it with one hand so the triangular flap is facing due south, and with the other hand, pinch the flap and lift it up and behind the gown, grasping it with the holding hand. Similarly, take the next visible flap and bring it to the left and behind, both covering and gripping with your holding hand. Do the same thing for the last flap. The goal is to expose the sterile gown underneath while covering your holding hand with the gown cover, which lets the scrub tech grab the gown in a sterile way. To open your gloves, run your finger through the edge to free any sticking edges. Then, grasp with each hand one side of the package and pull your hands apart, allowing the sterile inner glove pack to be exposed. The scrub tech will then grab it. Repeat the same process with your other pair of gloves. Do not open the package with a pinching grip or else the outer edges will curve inward and contaminate the sterile gloves. After you've scrubbed or abogarded, you're ready to gown up. Keep your sterile hands at chest level, unlike this idiot. The tech will open up your gown, allowing you to stick your arms in. Keep your hands inside the gown, mostly at the level of the blue fabric. A non-sterile person will close up your gown in the back. Your scrub tech will now stretch open one of your undergloves, at which point you can slide your sleeve up on one arm so your hand pokes out past the white cuff. Stick your exposed hand into the glove until it's snug. Now glove up your next hand, but now you can use your gloved hand to stretch out the other glove even more, giving you more room to put your hand in and making you seem so cool to everyone watching. Both of your hands are now sterile and repeat the same process with the other set of gloves. At this point you may be asking yourself, Self, what is this stupid purple and white tab thing on the front of my gown? This magical instrument lets you finish tying your gown. With your right hand grab the white part of the tab and with the left hand grab the left string and pull apart so that you have a free string in your left hand and a tab with only the right string attached in your right hand. Give the tab to someone, they can be sterile or non-sterile, and they will grab it by the purple end. Now is the time to dance. 
spin to the left, still holding the string in your left hand until you make a full circle and are facing your tab holding assistant again. Pull with your right hand the string to separate it from the tab they are holding. Now you have two strings and can finally tie your gown. Sometimes, like if the scrub tech is busy, you will have to gown and glove yourself, which is a slightly different experience. Grab your gown and gloves just as before and place them on some surface. Open the gown package, remove the gown, and place it on the table. Unfold the flaps so that the sterile gown inside is exposed. Then open your gloves the same way as before, but drop them onto the sterile gown. After you've scrubbed or abogarded, when sterile, grab the gown so that the opening of the two side flaps, which become your sleeves when unfolded, face you. You can touch this because it'll be against your body when you wear it. Slide a hand into each side flap and reach in, letting the gown unfurl, and be careful not to touch anything. A non-sterile person will close up your gown in the back. Now, make sure your hands are still inside the blue gown, and through it, unfold your underglove package. Grasp the bottom of the glove and slide your other hand into it while simultaneously working your hand up past the white gown trim. This may take a while your first time. Once your hand is gloved, it is sterile and you can use it to put on the rest of your gloves. Once your patient is prepped and you are sterile, you can touch anything blue. Feel free to rest your hands on the patient when at the operating table. Just remember to not break sterile field. Technically, the only sterile parts on you are between your waist and your nipples. Your legs, head and back are not sterile. Stand with your hands clasped at belly or chest level, never reaching past your neck or below the belt and you'll be fine. If you have an itch or your glasses are sliding down, do not touch your face. Tell someone and they'll take care of it. It makes you feel pretty important. If you do realize that you contaminated something and no one has yelled at you yet, say that you are contaminated and leave the sterile field. It is better to look like a fool than to look like a fool and have a patient get an infection. Now you're all set. Have fun retracting for seven hours. <laughs>